you should. We need to be able to count on one another. That'll teach him. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. think about all this what is there to think the dead are up walking around eating people and turning them into more more of them i mean jesus we need to stick together and get through this i'm gonna get back to him sounds good all right let's see how clementine is doing oh there's the batteries. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Yeah, being good is good. Quote of the day. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Though, Glenn seems pretty similar to uh, how he acts in the TV show. In fact, he seems like the exact same guy. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah, not much use for money now, though. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Why would you give them both at the same time? 
It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. way. God, is she really so incompetent? As the you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Hey, Carling. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Yeah, she already had one. Well, I guess I got one more of these things to give away. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Uh, oh, I'll give it to them, I guess. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Keep looking around. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. This door leads to the back alley. There's a photo over there. Find anything? Let me have a look. I don't know about that. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I don't trust you. Well, you better try. Uh, 
I don't trust anybody. I don't need any of you. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. <laughs> I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you're cool? I think so. <sighs> okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, um... I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Well, one thing about Clementine is she's certainly smarter than she lets on. That's not very helpful. Looks like there's a first aid kit here, though. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? One thing I, I do definitely think is cool about this game is it's definitely kind of the, uh... came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. 
but it definitely feels like the modernization of the point and click adventure game genre because it's definitely a the remote for that thing in here someplace. Point and click adventure, but it doesn't feel that much like it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. It feels almost like there's a there's a little bit of twist of something like, you know, Fahrenheit or heavy rain in there. It's hard to explain, but it's cool, I like it. I guess we'll keep the remote. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. You mean your brother? I'm also glad Herschel in the game didn't have that thing where he's like, oh. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. No, oh, we can't Wait. shoot zombies because they're people. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Well, never mind. It's nothing. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Well, I guess we gotta get those keys. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. How the hell did we get out here? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. They're, they're out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <sighs> well... Let's head back inside. Okay. Because we have no choice but to head back inside. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. 
little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, um, well. Sorry, I'll get over there once I get untrapped from this invisible wall. We'll, we'll be right there. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Man, <laughs> it's okay. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Well, I'm glad. You know, yeah, we've got a pillow. We don't need to worry about the zombie apocalypse. It's Where all good. Next? We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck and quit and quiet about it. Um, okay. You need to find a weapon. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Well, let's have a look. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. No, I got it. Hey man, that drew some attention. 
Be careful. Oh, well, let's use the pillow on it. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Okay, well. Kind of use the pillow on this guy? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Spark plug. It's a sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Alright, so, uh... There's a pig in the truck. Now, what the hell do I do with the spark plug? Can I use it on the window? Wait! Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Is that really true? Someone verified to me if that's true or not. Because I don't intend to be buying spark plugs and throwing them at windows. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, well let's use it over on that zombie over there. I hope that girl's okay. Oh, she'll be fine, Glenn. You missed. You missed. It's okay. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. I assume we're gonna be okay. I kind of like the, uh, you know, you, you move the cursor over what you need to smash or whatever. Kind of makes the point and click aspect of the adventure seem less point and click y. 